The new Archer Commanders are out in the game and man does Leon look strong, to the point where I'm confident in saying that he is a must max. Hey what's up everybody, it's Plato Gaming here and this video is going to go over the new Archer Commander, Leong, his pairs, where to get him, and why he is a must bring, a must max to any open field player. Leong will be available through the Wheel of Fortune, meaning as long as you have the gems, you'll be able to unlock him. Now let's see why Leong is super strong by going over his skills. This is my first commander breakdown video, so the way that I personally break down commanders is looking skill by skill to grasp a better understanding of what each skill does so that we can grasp a better understanding what the commander does overall. So, the first skill does AoE damage to up to 5 nearby targets, damage factor of 2000. So you can consider that a AoE nuke, as well as it also has a damage reduction to each target that it hits. So, all 5 targets that are hit by the AoE will also be hit with a damage reduction debuff. Now for the next skill. Archer units led by this commander gain 30% extra health and deal 5% extra damage. So, 30% health, 5% all damage. And whenever this commander's troops is inflicted with a control effect, so a silence essentially, it has a 50% chance to negate the effect and deal 500 damage factor to the attacking troop. So, Archer health, 30%, Archer damage bonus, 5%, plus you have a 50% chance to dispel control effects and deal 500 damage to the attacking troop. That second skill sounds like a whole kit on itself to be honest, but let's go on to the third skill, where if this commander's troops only contain archers, it deals 20% extra skill damage. And then normal attacks from this commander's troops have a 10% chance to increase the attack of archers by 50%. And that effect can only trigger every 5 seconds. So 20 extra skill damage and a 10% chance to increase attack by 50%. So it's going to be super super important that you only bring archers with this commander. No mixed units or anything like that for sure. The fourth skill. Whenever this commander uses an active skill, the troops gain the marquee effect increasing damage dealt by 10% for 10 seconds if it does not already have it. If their troops contain only archer units and has a marquee effect, whenever this commander uses an active skill, they'll consume a marquee effect to deal direct damage to up to 3 nearby troops, damage factor 1500. That's insane, so whenever you use an active skill, you gain a buff the marquee effect where you get to deal 10% all damage for 10 seconds and if you have only archer units and have the marquee effect active you consume that marquee effect but you also deal 4.5k damage overall 1.5k to 3 targets so 1.5k times 3 4.5k that's a ton of damage and the expertise actually builds up on this fourth skill where upon entering battle, this commander's troops gain a marquee effect, 10% increased damage for 15 seconds, and each time the active skill of Leong is triggered, or the marquee effect, the marquee skill damage is triggered, this march gains 30 rage. So there's a rage engine on top of all the skill damage that's included in this commander's, which is insane. To recap, Liang's skill breakdown, the first skill has AoE damage and a damage debuff to 5 enemies. Second skill has health, so tankiness, all damage, and negates control effects with an extra skill damage on the side there as well. A third skill, skill damage increase plus attack increase for archer units. Fourth skill, all damage or AoE damage, and expertise is our rage engine to make sure that fourth skill keeps going on and on and on. So super, super strong stuff. A lot of good things that you would want to see an open field commander. So now that we have a better understanding of what Leong does and why he's good in open field, what would be the best pair for him? Before looking at specific commanders, we must fully understand what Leong is lacking in the open field. Leong's kit primarily revolves around damage, it has a lot of damage, has a little bit of tankiness with a 30% extra health, and has some utility with the debuff. But in my opinion, he is lacking some more utility, some more movement speed, and a little bit more tankiness. Since the majority of his kit relies on his march being full archers, I'd fully recommend an archer commander to pair alongside him. The best in-slot archer march in my opinion after Leung's release will be Boudicca and Leung. 
The reason being is Boudicca right now is the best archer commander in the game, and adding Liang on top of that will just increase the power level of the march even more so. On top of this, Boudicca helps fill in Liang's weaknesses a little bit, with the extra defense that it provides, the extra march speed that she has with the second skill, and the extra skill damage taken reduction with the third skill. On top of that, her primary skill gives an extra skill damage taken increase by 35%, meaning that whoever she's targeting with the Liang secondary is going to instantly melt with those skill procs. For two archer marches, you can split up the Boudicca and the Liang with Boudicca Artemisia or Boudicca YSG, and the Liang pair would be Nebu Liang or Henry Liang. The Henry primary would give your Liang the extra tankiness that it needs, as well as extra march speed at 20% archer march speed bonus on the second skill. Same thing with Nebu with the march speed, where it'd give your Liang an extra 15%, but there isn't really too much tankiness with Nebu, you, are, you would just be double dipping in terms of damage. Those are the top 3 commanders that I would personally recommend, um, of course without seeing any testing or anything like that. So as the commander comes out, I would say be sure to check out testings to see the actual best in slots pair for him. Um, I would not recommend YSG, however, because Liang and YSG do very very similar things. And because of that, they actually have very similar downsides, where they don't have as much tankiness, and they both do not have any movement speed. So that's why I think Liang is a must max commander for any murder ball. What I mean by must max doesn't mean you have to max it right away, but if you ever want to make an archer march, Liang is going to be one out of the two commanders that you are going to have to max. Um, with the extra damage, the amount of nuke capability that it has, the amount of AoE damage that it has, and even the debuff that it has and the health, Liang is such a strong commander that you're not going to want to miss out on. I personally saved 1,000 gold heads so that as soon as this commander comes out and I spend a bunch of wheels for him, I can instantly max him for my murder ball. I'm definitely going to be maxing him next week during the Wheel of Fortunes and streaming it, so be on the lookout for that. And let me know if you guys like my first overall commander review. If it does well, then maybe I'll start doing some more of the other Rise of Kingdoms commanders and maybe we'll be able to do all of them in a tier list or something like that. So. All right, I will catch you guys later. It has been a pleasure, Plato Gaming. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video, send it out to your homies, and I will see you guys later. Peace.